reconfiguring other buildings, including Barbara McGinnis House where I work. They identified those infected by advocating for and implementing mass testing at multiple shelters. Then they treated and isolated those infected and those who need quarantine away from those shelters. This previously unimaginable and Herculean effort was enormously successful, reducing new infections, not only among the vulnerable homeless, but really contributing to the low infection rates in our state. Contrast that to the current uncoordinated, market-oriented approach to the epidemic, and especially to vaccine development. Investors and companies are tightening up their portfolios, cashing in on billions of federal dollars that the Trump administration is investing in the hope of creating an exclusive patented vaccine for the American people only before the election. The disastrous promotion of hydroxychloroquine and convalescent plasma transfusions without any adequate evidence diverting needed resources from public health investments should serve as a warning of what might come with the vaccine. We are here at Moderna, the major Boston company funded to make vaccines, to confront and expose the corporate practices that put people's lives at risk. We're concerned about the potential for their vaccine to be inadequately studied, overpriced, promoted by those with conflicts of interest, and not available to those who need it most. No one should be making millions of dollars of personal profit now. Oh, yeah. That's corruption of the public health mission and will inevitably lead to undesirable consequences. Take, for example, as we heard, Dr. Betsy Noble, Nabel, the CEO of Brigham, recently resigned from Moderna's board only after being confronted about unethical conflicts related to selling her Moderna stocks for over $8 million. Yeah. Hospital leaders should be advocating for a freely available, affordable vaccine for our country and globally, rather than enriching themselves. We've yet to hear any public apologies or recognition of this impropriety. In fact, Dr. Nabel's only statement on record so far was a February 2020 op-ed supporting high drug prices for profit companies while attacking congressional efforts to rein in exorbitantly high prices for life-saving drugs like insulin. And this can't be like Moderna and the board have won the lottery. This is a serious public health crisis. We can't live with these high prices. We can't live with a person making millions of dollars off of public investment. $1.5 billion I just made. We can't live with secret formulations that won't be licensed. We can't live with mass distrust about motives and safety of the vaccine that make large numbers of vulnerable people afraid to get immunized. We can't live with studies that are tainted by conflict of interest or even the appearance of conflict of interest. We can't live with the worsening disparities of who's getting this disease and who's dying from this disease and who will get access to treatment and prevention. Our history with other viral epidemics is pretty incriminating. Drugs for treating HIV and hepatitis C were initially priced at levels previously unheard of, upwards of ten to $50,000 a year, when they too had come to fruition with federally funded research and public money. As a doctor who spent 25 years of my career treating women and children with HIV, especially at a time when medications were not available and people were dying, I can't forgive those pharmaceutical companies for what happened. We shouldn't forgive and we shouldn't forget. Medicine for all requires Medicare for all. In other words, a single payer, publicly financed, not-for-profit system with community participation and accountability. <laughs> to have health care without private insurance companies denying access. We all wish the vaccine could be the magic bullet, but it's unlikely that it will be. Instead of pouring all the billions of dollars and hopes we have into Moderna and the other warp speed vaccine makers, we need a multifaceted, socially engaged, progressive effort for change Woo! and empowerment, yeah. harnessing volunteerism, all of us, professionalism, sharing of medical technology, Solidarity, public investment, rather than private control.
control, profit, and greed. Yeah. Yeah.